Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Nobody Wants to Die. Last time we had just escaped the Icarus uh, after it had been... Bas it actually was going down and we just managed to get away in time. We had a nice little drunken chat with Sarah on our, uh, on our earphones and uh, almost got taken down by the cops who basically said we were in a no flyby zone or something like that. Or no hovering zone, but um, they got called away with a fake burglary um, call that Sarah managed to send out. And we just got home in a bit of a drunken stupor. So. Hey. Okay, we're not doing too hot. Not good. Welcome home. James, Kara, I recommend immediate decontamination. The level of contamination of the shell is alarmingly above all norms. I know. I know. The synchronization test will take place soon. Please do not leave the apartment for the next 24 hours. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> okay, let's see. Call the bathroom, yeah. Where are the... the fucking... drugs? Did we leave them in the car? Fuck. Is this the same apartment? Yeah, it is. Okay. Don't you already know who the murderer is? How? Did I? <sighs> hey, doesn't the hero die at the end? Yeah, but he's trying. Yes, but he's trying. And when will you cuff me? You want me to cuff you? Don't you want to? We've had this conversation before. If I don't get up from this couch and grab my drugs, I'll die. Drugs should be in the kitchen or the restroom. Maybe upstairs. ancient cultures, the Moirai were an allegory of destiny. They represented the brutal laws that govern... That govern what? That govern what? Okay. I'm feeling they're all gonna be empty. There's nothing in this one either. I won't get rid of this hologram unless you take me there. Copy that. I really would love to go there. You look terrible lately. Try to smile a little. Just a little bit. Oh, fuck you. Uh, there. Empty. Shocking! Outrageous! No wonder people... Well, I'll 
Don't we need to shower? Decontaminate? Attention! The sync test is ready. Immediately approach the Hestia module. Immediately? Okay. Are we doing some kind of Rorschach test? Logged. James, Kara, welcome back. Thank I'm you. I'm starting the synchro test. Please do. Please take a deep breath and imagine a safe space. Feel the ground under your feet. Mm hmm Excellent. Very literally, but perfect. Please select a seat. Ooh, which one? This looks more comfortable. Our own death is a difficult experience that we naturally repress from consciousness. In order to enable smooth functioning in the new body, we need to remember the last moments of our lives and... And together face the trauma of the last death. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. Before we get to the point, please recall the first death. It was just an injury. I just changed my body. And my old shell went to the Hall of Fame. It looks pretty good there. Please start calibration process. Calibration successful. Thank you. Let's go to the memories. It's time to confront them. Proceed to the next stage. The key to synchronization is the ability to put the past into perspective. Please try to do this. Okay. And how do I do that? You are at the peak of your abilities and career. Mm hmm Have you thought about buying a Synchro Plus program? Thanks. I can't afford it. No worries. Common tests work just as well. Please, continue. <clears throat> Gonna fall down. A new body? A new chapter in life? I had no choice. I didn't synchronize with the new shell like I did with my original. Positive rate threshold is 80%. And maybe for you. In sports, a fraction of every percent counts. Excellent. You found a new purpose in life. So, just so you guys are aware, I'm not really doing anything to make these things come together. It's literally just the perspective. You have to be in, like, the right place. You have to, like, move around, you know? There's no clicking or anything involved. Finding yourself in a new reality is a huge challenge. Turns out I have a knack for this job. Do you miss your job? You don't even realize. Let's move on to the last death event. Oh boy. It seems that the complexity of the trauma will not allow us to continue. I can handle it. 
Synchronization is a process, not an act. Try to isolate minor events using all your senses. Or stop and extend the recovery period. No. Uh, uh, I'll remember. I'll get it from my memory. Some shine, grease, burn, and... Excellent. Um, seriously? I had a chance to hit him, but my gun jammed, even though I cleaned it the day before. Who did you want to hit? All I, I remember is we were on a mission, me and Seth. Powerful explosion. I think it derailed the train. My ears were ringing and. Fuck! I don't remember. What about Seth and the one you were chasing? Can you focus on them? Um. I'll try. So many bodies. I had to get him. Dispense justice. The bastard kept eluding me. Oh wow, that's a pretty big skull. Uh... Yeah, I don't know how to put this one together. I want a hint. Let's go back up here. No. Maybe up here. James, do you blame yourself for what happened to him? We got a lousy job. He knew the risks. But I was his partner. He relied on me. So where is Seth? He can't be dead dead because, again, that doesn't happen Unstable anymore. Unstable simulation. We'd better stop for today. All right? Now? When do I get a chance to pass the damn test? I won't let this go. I can't. I'll finish it, and I'll be back where I belong. Is that us? Yeah. Attention. Dynamic element detected. James, it's dangerous. It could be projection, not recollection. What projections? This is my fucking window. That day, 2317. Oh, the wife? I can't move. Oh. She jumped.
We recommend staying home. Your mental state is very strained and you need time to recuperate. How long until I'm back to work? From nine to twelve months. Wow. Estimates may change. Fuck! Sarah, I fucked up. I don't know how to say this, but I think I'm admitting guilt. What? What happened? Is everything all right? What have you done? I just I can't do anything. I have no chance to go back. James. No. I'll finish the case. I won't leave it like this, but I won't drag you down with me. I'm sorry for earlier. I'll cover all traces. I can't drag everyone down all the time. You didn't deserve it. Whew. Wow, that's very kind of you. Excuse me? You're such a drama queen sometimes. What did you think? I'd leave it like that? I'll leave you with it? I have a few leads to discuss. Really? You think you're the only person in this town who wants to know what's going on? Let's get busy then. Let's get busy. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, we're setting up this AR thing again. Cool. Where do we start? Since the Zeppelin crashing into the building right after Green's death is more than just a lucky break. Lucky? For us. Definitely not for them. You know exactly what I mean. Let's start with the connection between the Green case and the Icarus shooting. All right, so what do the green case and the shootout on Icarus have in common? What is this? The man with the encrypted Icarite, Miller, arms dealer and owner of Phalanx, an elite security company. I still don't know how he encrypted the Icarite. Why do something like that? To avoid answers when your corpse turns up in an inconvenient situation. Oh, excuse me. Tactical plans. Drawings of the electrical installation of a building. Identification information has been erased. That tell you something? Shit. Too many copper phase conductors with polyvinyl insulation. Uh, what? <laughs> I really don't know. Okay. The Chief Steiner's trusted man, Agent Dean. Specialist in discreet work. Chief's errand boy. I wonder how big his stable was. So Body X plans to lower the age of free body subscription and a series of additional fees related to the use of bodies. Motherfuckers. I still can't believe it. At least their plans will take a while longer. Fucking Demmer. John Park, politician and shareholder of the well-known company. Earlier leads indicated he was a friend of Green's. Burned to a crisp. <laughs> was that laughter? <laughs> no. Very morbid. Uh, toxicology of Icarus. Analysis showed that Kovalev had substances in his blood that Sarah couldn't identify. Nothing was similar was found in any of the other bodies. Was the toxicology of the rest clean? Well, I wouldn't say that, but it was normal for this social class. Oh, excuse me. Jane Solomon's scarf. Item belonging to a famous psychologist that establishes her presence on Icarus. The famous psychologist, back in the circle of suspects. Uh, more on the periphery. Serpent symbol. The symbol drawn on the safe along with the date of events that took place on Icarus. That damn snake again. It looks fresh this time. Probably made on the day of the massacre. Travis Collette. A uh, chic developer with initials on a silk tie. The owner of several skyscrapers, including Green's building. You've identified him. Great. Yeah, it's a developer named Travis Collette. Travis Collette? Bonjour, Travis. Uh, Travis Collette. Travis Collette. James. <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah, it gets weird sometimes. And Green's last letter. The politician was afraid of someone. He couldn't wait any longer to carry out his plans. He had one last friendly request to Kovalev. To complete his work. So the watch with a photo wasn't evidence of a friendly quarrel between Kovalev and Green? They were obviously very close. 
Okay. So the question was, what do the green case and the shootout on Icarus have in common? Uh, yeah, Demer. We have nothing more on him. Okay, never mind. I guess this one, the body acts. No. Nice show Koval of his substance in his body, the Seracon ended a fight. Oh right. Yeah, same thing with green. Oops. Ah. So Kobla's toxicology results are suspicious as greens. What else connects the two? Uh, Salma's scarf, because we saw it there too, right? Or not? I thought we saw the scarf in in Green's place. Oh, the serpent symbol. Yes. You think Kovalev had poison in his blood too, like Green? Hmm. You have access to the CTC registers. It should be in there by now. Checking. Uh, Roy, Park, Dean is there too, but no, no sign of Kovalev. So we have another connection to Green. A final death. So these days and symbols connect the cases of the final death, but why did Kovalev kill everyone on Icarus? This letter. Sarah, do you have access to the CTC registers? Just checked. Kovalev Zikarite never made it there. Which means that this is another... This is another final death. They both left this world, and they left behind quite a mess. Do you think they managed to carry out the plan from Green's letter? All we know is they gave their lives for it. Could anyone here know Green and Kovalev were up to something? Damned good question. Let's check. Okay, so no price too high to pay. Kovalev and Green followed one plan. Theirs or someone else's. They paid the ultimate price for it. Someone want to stop them or make them do something. They died executing a plan. So next step. Could anyone ha here have known Green and Kovalev were up to something? Uh, yeah. This guy... As the chief's trusted man, he must have known about Green's death. Just what was he looking for here? So, the drink motive. No coincidence he dropped in here for a drink. As a cop and the chief's boy, he'd know, Green, he'd know about Green's death. What was he up to here? Uh, not the scarf. I mean, may have to do with this, the body acts, maybe? Yeah, I didn't think so. Hmm. I don't know, maybe this? Sarah, can you check what building this is? How am I supposed to do that? This is just a small section. Oh, I need more to work with here. So, unclear plans. He's making a deal for plans for an installation in some building. Oh, right. There was the blueprints in that briefcase with the money. Right, right, right. What's he need them for? In which building? Installation for a building. Maybe this one? Travis Collette. Yeah, because he was meeting with them. Green's secret. Before Green's death was public, Dean tried to get the plans for his apartment from Travis Collette. What did Green mean in the letter? What plans did he start? Did we miss something in the apartment? Holy shit. So Dean was buying the blueprints for Green's apartment from Colette. And Colette didn't know about Green's death. And that order not to board Icarus. 
You think Dean was following the chief's orders? Uh, I don't know. I don't necessarily believe the chief was behind it. I think Dean may have been working for someone else. We can't rule out that Dean was working for someone else. Like who? And what the hell do Green's plans have to do with it? Let's focus on the second question. You think we missed something at Green's? Everything points to that. As long as everyone's focused on the riot now, the apartment should be empty. Great. Let's finish what we started. Diagnostics complete. Repair cost and fine, $938. Ah, oh, fuck you. And don't wait for me with dinner. I'll be late. Don't fall into madness. After our little nightly talk, I knew I wasn't alone in all this. Sarah may have been only a voice in my earpiece, but it was a voice of integrity and reason, which was what I needed at times, and which could be switched off at other times. And unlike other such voices, without grabbing a bottle. James, should I send you a sleeping bag? Get a move on, turn on the camera. Okay. Stand back, the Fed secured the entrance. Could you? I'm on it. You get excited when you do something illegal. I'm in rehab, so don't tempt me. Your file interests me. I'd like to see your file. <laughs> I erased it. Good luck with that. I have my ways. Ready. All right. Green Tower, round two. Everything ends where it begins. You watch too many movies. So what are we looking for? A red X. Okay. Any ideas? Find the place marked on the map. So there's a four there, okay. Uh, where's the map? Synthetic gin, best before. Yeah, I think we've seen this before. Um. How can I access the map? Constructor, X-ray, UV lamp hat. Have you noticed any difference since your last visit? I tolerate you. Keep searching. Oh, the helmet, right. I forgot about this. Hmm. Uh, you want to talk about what was on... Okay, where's this red X? I don't see an X. Does he mean the circle? The circle, I, I know where that is. The artist's mind? Really? James. I was curious. Just checking if you're paying attention. I'm just mm. looking around now. That's not what the map wants to tell me. A real man of the people. At least that's what he wants you to see. Right. Total bullshit. The fuck is this? I've never understood this stuff. Yet it doesn't surprise me in the least that Green was into it. 
Okay, so this is where it was marked. This room. Do I have a flashlight? Yeah, I do. Keep it simple. Going from corner to corner isn't simple. I don't know. I'm looking. I saw this down there. So what is that? Ah, the fucking safe. Did they just clean it out? Are you sure it's this safe? Do you see something else? See something else? Nothing. Empty. Just like my account. Get out. Can you check what they took? You know, it's not like I didn't break the law this week, so I'll see. Wait. James. It's not about the safe. You just said the complete opposite. I changed my mind. They took everything out. What do you want us to do? X-ray it? Great idea. Why am I saying anything? See? Cables lead somewhere. Probably to the washing machine. Over. There's some interference. Can you repeat? Hello? Yes? St storm's coming. The electronics are freaking out. Wh where do they lead? What? What? To the electricity. God, never mind. Why such a large generator for such a small safe? This isn't a generator. You sound like an expert. You sound like an expert. I was helping my cousin repair pneumatics like this. Tech from a mortal era. Rich people love automated shit in their homes. We still don't know what this device is for. Just keep looking. So we saw a cable go up here. Or not. What? What? Oh, there. The wall is a meter from the safe. This box could lift several tons. Maybe it's pumping gel into the roots. Although, it doesn't look connected. But what next? We have a card. Bingo, the first rich dude's secret wall safe of my career. <laughs> you should be a thief. I'm building my resume. Uh, nice to see you develop. Hey, fuck you. This was my idea. Don't push it. Holy shit. Didn't expect a whole fucking panic room. Whatever the fuck this is. James, what is happening? Sarah? <sighs> oh, fuck. So green at a private dungeon. And perhaps it holds a stamp collection. Uh-huh. This much gel could blow up the Senate. Another victim. Just more questions. Brian Theodore Coven. What are you doing here? If it wasn't for his donations, orphanages in the city would disappear. Formal dress. A meeting? With a murderer? With Green? Let's check where you came from, Coven. Yeah, let's head upstairs, downstairs. We are heading down. What? 
before stopping. you already know who the murderer is? James? Yeah, I tried to, you know. Uh, are you there? We fall, Sarah? It looks like we might have... The elevator might have fallen. I thought you would join the noble ranks of the dead. How do you... Who... Where are you? Why don't we start with where you are? Sorry, um... I just had a crazy thought about what's going on. Um, you know what? I'm not going to say anything just yet. I, 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 without knowing more, it's literally just like not even an educated guess. It's just a thought. So I'm not going to say anything just yet. What is this place? What happened here? Well, I have bad news. You're late for the party. Uh, I'm just going to take a quick look around before I select that. Senator? Here? Everyone pays for success. Few can really afford it. This guy sounds like Stephen Bloom. See? <laughs> you dressed inappropriately. It was a theme party. So she was over here? No. Fuck it. I'd better start from the beginning. Is she dressed like some kind of Egyptian person? How to quell the masses. How nice. They even think about us after hours. Well... Their plans will have to wait. How to quell the masses. Strategy. Three pillars of action. Patricia, a senator against the government. She will gain the trust of the masses and direct attention to something other than the bill. For what? Chris, governor, will announce increased security measures. Terrorism. Cadis, themes for distraction. Talk to the assistant. Send a note to all three by tomorrow. She knew what was going on. And she took part anyway. Questions. Remember about the Fury. You will have to ask about the money. What will happen to it if there are more fees? He will answer that he will go to social welfare to support those who can't afford it. At that point, he's supposed to shut up. It's absurd. Oh, it was just Interesting. two pages. This notebook is worth a oh. fortune. Then why did you leave him? Questions you mustn't ask. What about body inflation and where are they? Never to green, unless he writes a will. Yeah. Uh, the president about his, the relationship with his daughter. One scandal per shell. Besides that, already in that shell, 
besides that already, in that shell, it was an open secret that he had Stockholm Syndrome. It's hard to say if there was anything more interesting to squeeze out of it. Do I want to know what kind of relationship? What? And thus, conspiracy theories are born. New project. We're creating a secret society. Prepare people who could participate in it. I need demands. I need to find some conspiracy theory shit based on technology. Maybe from outer space? Green probably won't agree to that. How to sell it to people. Okay, let's start our investigation proper. Hold blooded murder. We'll see. Does it look like something else? It looks like a piece of the puzzle. One that'll fit when it's time. What's with these masks? Some subtle differences, but not enough to tell who's who. Or what. Adam Cadis. Why am I not surprised to see you? Debauchery is your specialty. Blagojevich, journalistic scum. Alright. Let's start her off. Crushed by a chandelier. Fancy way to go. Perfect for the uh The governor. Sans pants. Prestigious guest list. Chris Everson. Even my idiot neighbor has a bumper sticker. Wonder what he thinks about him and the law now. He was standing under it. I'll pick him up and find out who it is. Anna Turner. Used to be a sports writer. We had some interesting interviews when my team was winning. Then she got into politics and became editor of the whole paper. You had your last deadline. Maybe I can lift the chandelier. The fire upstairs must have damaged the wires. Okay. But why did he fall? And where's the killer? What did you do to deserve oh. your mask? Or maybe you actually wore it every day. Shot. Needs a closer look. Hmm. That one we already know about. Chris Everson. He'd sell his own mother for votes. There was a scandal that he used his mother's illness in the campaign. The Emperor of Screens. Make that god. There's no movie studio that doesn't kiss his ring. Maybe a little lower. He influences <laughs> more people than you think. What is this? Everybody lies. They learn to live a lie. Okay, what happened here? Where's the damn killer? How did they die? Losing your nerve? Never mind. He was standing here before the chandelier fell in his head. Yeah.
Who brings a gun to a fancy party? Fucking lack of culture. Eight millimeter. It is a nice gun. You're sitting here with a loaded gun? Think twice before inviting a paranoia case. A shootout started. You probably didn't consider that. You didn't shoot that fucking thing down on your own head. Are you sure? He shot the killer. Was that... How are you feeling? Better every minute. Hmm. He aimed toward the piano. There was Weird. something here. The trail ends here. Lots of glass under your feet and nothing around. The killer had plenty of time to cover all traces. Like you got hit by a truck? Why so much glass? Any complaints? Fuck no. Glass, you, blood, every piece brings me closer to you. Right, guys and I think I'm gonna call it there um, I know we're in the middle of investigation but I don't know how long this is actually gonna go on for um, and I think this is a decent stopping point um, I haven't said anything in the last maybe 10-15 minutes because I'm trying to piece stuff in my head together especially with my hypothesis um, and I'm actually gonna say it now so if you're not interested in what potentially might be happening, my speculation, um, just send the video here. But uh, for the next minute or so, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna ramble off my thoughts. Um. So it's not clear what kind of synchronicity issues are going on. Okay. Um. It's been made clear that we're using the body of a junkie. Um, what that body's history is, we don't know. And we're having problems synchronizing with it. But I'm wondering if there are remnants of the junkie still in our body. Because I'm wondering if the killer is actually us. Because I, it might be me, but the stranger sounds quite a bit like our like our protagonist except using like a funny little accent and dropping his voice a little you know like that so i'm i again i'm really wondering if that's where they're going with this that the murder we've been chasing is ourselves and that's why it's important that we have certain views and see if they align with the murderer, like the person that's the, the consciousness that's like, well, the subconsciousness, I guess, in our heads. Again, I'm not sure how this taking over the body thing works. Like if there's, again, still remnants of the previous person in there or not. Because again, we're not synchronizing properly with the body. We're having... I don't want to say flashbacks, but we're having visions, definitely hallucinations. So God knows what's going on while we're having those hallucinations, right? So I don't know. That's that's my theory on that. And we'll see in the next, well, I don't want to say in the next video, but we'll see in the coming videos if I'm right or not. 
let me know what you guys think. Let me know. I'd be interested to hear what kind of theories you guys have. In the meantime, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.